Hi everybody, it's Miss Maria from Main Street Arts. I'm glad you could join me again today. Today we are going to be talking about homemade clay and I will be showing you some different tips and techniques about how to make some cool shapes and some cool textures in your clay. And my family and I will be um, doing an ocean scene. So I'm gonna just show you some different fun things that you could do with materials you have laying around your house and some, some clay that you could make from ingredients you have in your house. And if you don't have the ingredients that I'm using today, you're more than welcome to look up your own homemade clay uh, recipe, or you can use any Play-Doh that you have, maybe that you've bought from the store before. So anything goes. It's just about having fun and exploring the different things that you could do. So for my homemade clay, I have a pretty simple recipe here. And these are all the ingredients listed. And I'll just kind of go through them. This is one cup of flour. I have a half a cup of salt, two teaspoons cream of tartar, uh, one cup of water here, two tablespoons of vegetable oil there, and then food coloring down here. If you don't have food coloring, that's fine. It'll just come out like a, a, a light, um, tanny color and that's that's totally fine um, you could always paint it when when it's a little bit dry or you could just use it as the color it comes out so I'm going to mix all of my ingredients right into my saucepan first I'm going to put in one cup of flour and my one half cup of salt and then my two teaspoons of cream of tartar. I'm going to have my helper here mix the ingredients together in the saucepan. So you want to mix the dry ingredients. Once you have your dry ingredients mixed, you could add your one cup of water and your two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then you can mix that up. Okay, I have mixed my dry ingredients with my wet ingredients and I'm on my stove top. I'm going to add a few drops of food coloring at this point. So I chose green and I'm gonna squirt some in there and I'll mix that up. And I'm going to turn my my stove on like a medium high and I'm just going to be mixing constantly until a um, doughy ball forms. So as it heats up, it'll start to form into a ball. All right, it looks like my all of my homemade clay here is starting to chunk together into a ball. So I'm going to turn my heat off. And I'm going to let that cool just a little bit. Okay, so once your homemade clay has cooled slightly so you can handle it, um, you could put it out on a flat surface and you're going to want to knead it a little bit and kind of make it smooth. Just like you're kneading bread, you're just going to flip it in and press it down on itself. And you will see and feel that it will get very smooth and soft. So you want to do that for a couple of minutes, I would say, until it feels like the consistency that you want it. So another option um, for your clay is um, to add some glitter. So I've got some, some gold glitter here. And you're just going to kind of make like a little well in your clay and you're going to just pour pour a bunch of glitter in there and then you're just going to kind of fold it in and and knead it in squeeze it so i'm just going to kind of squeeze it and get all of that and as you can see the more you kind of squeeze it and knead it the more that glitter is dispersed throughout the clay if you can see that that's another thing you could do. And then the glitter actually doesn't really come out of the clay once it's in there. So it's not gonna get all over your house, believe it or not. 
So as you can see, it's nice and glittery. Okay, so now that you have your homemade clay ready, you can go around your house and gather some materials that you might want to use uh, in your clay creation. So I've got things from, I've got some beads, I've got pipe cleaners here that I cut into little, into little chunks, toothpicks, these are just some fun kind of glass pieces that I had. I even have some cardboard strips, straws, anything that you want to add into your clay that you think would be fun. Okay, so I have, um, I made some green. I have, this is plain, without any food coloring, with just some glitter, and then I have, uh, I made a yellow. So, I'm going to, my end goal here is to make a, an ocean scene. So that's just kind of what I want to do, but again, you can do anything you want here. So I'm going to start out with like a little base. I'm going to make some coral. So that's the little base. And I'm going to take a little ball of one of the colors. I'm going to roll it into a little ball. I'm going to make a tiny little pinch pot. So I need to make a little hole in the center. And then I'm going to go around the edges and I'm going to pinch. So it's going to look like a little teeny tiny bowl. It's just that simple. And then I'm going to stick it to my base. And then I'm going to repeat that a bunch of times. So that way it kind of looks like a little underwater coral. So I'm going to kind of stack them together. Some of them can be bigger, some of them can be smaller. You could kind of see what how small of a little pinch pot you could make. Your fingers are probably smaller than mine. There's a little guy. I'm going to kind of put him right in here. I will show that in just a minute. Okay, so I made my little, um, this is kind of like a cool coral. And my daughter made this little basket of eggs. And my other daughter made this really cool little kind of conglomeration here. Oops. And my husband made this fish. And I'm going to show you how to make a cool sea urchin. So I'll take like a little ball here and I'm going to be adding some little pipe cleaner bits. So it's just kind of a fun little way to add texture to your, to your homemade clay and it looks like a little sea urchin. All right, so another kind of fun thing we can do is take a kind of a log shape and you, there's so many fun things you could do with texture with clay. So I'm gonna take a, um, toothpick. I'm just going to poke some holes in. So this can be part of your, this looks like a little sea creature. Maybe I'll add some um, eyes with the beads. Looks like a little sea snake. Okay, so you could take a, a rolling pin or any other um, kind of, you could take a wooden dowel or anything that you have that will roll your dough out nice and flat. It's always fun. And then you could take a, something sharp. I have a toothpick here, but you could choose anything you want and just kind of draw a fish shape in your clay. And then you can, I have a butter knife here. You can just cut out the clay from around your shape that you drew. And there you go, just like that, you have a fish shape. All right, so once you have your fish shape kind of cut out here, you can go around and smooth the edges out. And then you could take your all your items that you have here, and I'm gonna do a bead for the eye again. And maybe I'll take one of these straws and I'll I'm gonna push them push the straw in, and I'm gonna not go all the way through, and I'm just going to make this really nice circle shape. I'm not pushing all the way through. And then maybe I'll take uh, my, my toothpick and I could also do the same thing for the fins. I'll press it in, not all the way through, but it kind of makes a nice fin shape. Same for this little, there's like a cool fish. Okay, so as you can see, we've got little busy hands here making their fish with all the different kinds of materials we found and making some really nice textures. 
So these are just a few ideas of some different fun things you can do with clay. And remember, when you're done with any clay, you just need to put it into a, a plastic bag, and then you're gonna kinda make sure it's nice and tight. You can wrap it up. Because if it gets exposed to the air, it'll dry right up. So now we're gonna take some of the things that we created here, and we're going to make a, a, a sea scene. I'm going to get some different um, materials out and I'm gonna get some paper out to make a background. So what I'm doing now is I just gave the kids some paper and they're kind of drawing a background for our um, sea creations here. So we just have some markers and they're drawing some seaweed and some bubbles and things like that. Okay, so here is our finished sea scene. And as you can see, the kids and I made some backgrounds with some markers with seaweed. We also took some, this is some foam core and we made some seaweed and we just stuck it into some Play-Doh bases. And we, we had some um, fake plants laying around the house that we used. Fish with the bubbles. So these are just some ideas. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me today. I hope you had some fun with some homemade clay. And again, these are just ideas and let your imagination go free. And if you have any cool um, projects that you've done, please post them in our comments or send an email with some images. We'd love to see what you've done. Uh, homemade clay, Play-Doh is a really fun medium and um, there's lots you can do with it. And make sure you put your homemade clay in a bag when you're done so it doesn't dry out. And um, join me again next time. It's been fun. Thanks a lot.